The first question is from Brother Omar, EMT, paramedic trainee from Hamburg, Germany. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I had a discussion with a brother about the Sunnah Salah before Jummah prayers. I showed him some fatwas which state that there is no Sunnah Salah before Jummah. But he rejected it with the argument that these scholars and sheikhs are Salafi or Wahhabi because they studied in Saudi Arabia. And he said that such kind of scholars are not good to follow because they reject the four madhabs. Is this true? He had come to know through research that there is no Sunnah Salah before the Jummah Salah. And what he says is correct, that there is no Sahih Hadith which, or any Quranic verses which say that there is any Sunnah Salah before the Jummah Salah. And he's right. That, and if your friend differs, you should ask him to show proof. He says that what fatwa you have got is wrong, you should ask him, produce your proof, produce a hadith from Bukhari or Muslim which says there is a Sunnah Salah. So what your research has said is correct, that there is no Sunnah, there is no Sunnah Mawqadah or Gair Mawqadah which is prescribed by the Prophet before the Juma Salah. However, there is two Rakat Tahiyatul Masjid which is very important. While the Prophet was giving the Juma Qutbah, he enters the mosque and he sits down. The Prophet stops his Qutbah and asks him, did you read, did you offer the two Raqqa, referring to the two Raqqa of Tahiyatul Masjid? And the man replied, no. So the Prophet said, get up and offer. So two Raqqa Tahiyatul Masjid is a requirement. That's the normal, whenever you enter a Masjid, either you start your Salah directly or if you have to sit, you have to read two rakat tahiyatul masjid. So this two rakat tahiyatul masjid before offering, before the Juma salah is required. There is no other sunnah salah. But if you want, you can offer any nafil or nawafil. It is your option. It is not recommended, but if you want to read any other salah, example istikara or any particular salah or nawafil salah, you are permitted. But there is no prescribed sunnah, salah before the Jummah salah. Now coming to your main question, that your friend was saying that you should not listen to scholars from Saudi Arabia because they are Wahhabis, because they are Salafi, and they don't believe in the four madhab. He is totally wrong. I have been to Saudi Arabia, I have met many scholars from Saudi Arabia. It is totally wrong to say that they do not believe in the four Imams or the four madhab. In fact, the true scholars, whichever part of the world they may be, whether from Saudi, from India, from Pakistan, Alhamdulillah, they respect all the four ahimahs. And all the four ahimahs, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on them all. They were great scholars. And we love them and respect them. So to say that the Saudi scholars do not respect or believe in the four madhab is totally wrong. What a Muslim should do is follow the Quran. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 59, Atiullah wa Atiyu Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. And those who have been given the authority. Ulul Amr. But the verse does not stop there. Obey Allah, obey the Messenger and those who have been charged with authority. But the verse continues. But if they differ, those charged with authority means the scholars. And the verse can if they differ, go back to Allah and his soul. So the complete verse says, obey Allah and obey the messenger. And to understand what Allah and his messenger say, we have to refer to the scholars. But if the scholar differ, what do you have to do? You have to go back to Allah and his soul. So what you were saying, that you look at the four madhaibs, and if all the four madhaib, if they say the same thing, there's no difference of opinion, fine. But if they differ, you refer to scholars like Sheikh Salim Munajjid, like Sheikh Abdul Aziz Turefi, like Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, and Sheikh Albani. Alhamdulillah, you are right. You are following the Quran and Sunnah. If your friend says that they are wrong, he should get proof from the Quran and Sunnah that what the fatwas these great scholars are giving is against Quran and Sunnah. Just by saying they are wrong, who is he? 